I love it when developers, they'll release something that might be a little uh, specific in a way, but what it is, it's just, it, it's just a beautiful way to test concepts and we're just gonna go into, um, into this beautiful instrument. The interface is just very straightforward. This is a um, contact player instrument, so if you don't have the full version of contact, that's okay. I'm just going to drop down the close and slow. And I wanna thank Sonic Cinema for uh, Thomas for sending me a copy of this to uh, play. You hear what I'm talking about? You hear what I'm talking about? It's just like they 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 almost like caught the lightning in the bottle, um, and it just capture. Yeah, David, it captures that that emotion and that. Um, One thing I have had to get used to was that there is there is a sort of like a latency when you're playing the notes, and that's that's to give you that beautiful connectivity with the legato. Let's go to another uh, snapshot here. So we've got close, close and slow, and then close and fast. Yeah. Yeah, so they adjusted the speed. And then let's um, move that intensity up. You just feel you feel it you feel it pulling pulling uh, pulling that yeah it's just it's just that tug. Um, let's see. The Boeing direction, yeah, that A. Yeah, so it but so you hit that, so it bows and then it rebows in the opposite direction when you hit the uh, A. It's really nice, and it's priced very, um, very reasonable. Let's go to um, some of these other ones. Uh, let's go to far and slow, and you can see that the speed is all the way here. And uh, let's see. Okay, now listen to that. You hear the the mic perspective changes. You hear it out there. Yeah. 
です。Yeah, you hear that when I hit the A? So it rebows. It's just kind of a rebowing type of thing. Okay. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's go to Legato Ambient. And then we've got、uh, slow and fast. Let's just do it slow. So here we've got,、uh, let's see, where, where are the mics? Okay, the proximity adjusts the,、um, adjusts the mic. So, when we have it pushed all the way up, it's the close mics, and you pull it down, and that, that brings that microphone back into the room. Wow. And then we've got、uh, some saturation and some, you know, we've got the effects and the mic. Here, here is, here is the.、Um, Now, you can see that proximity is kind of like a macro control for the mic positions. So you can use that to adjust them kind of in rel relative to each other. Or we can just,、um, just kind of go with these manually. So we can do the close mic. And let's do the far mic. You hear it pushed out in the room. And then if we go and,、um, yeah, let's push that reverb out some. So it is very beautiful. It, and, it's, and it's just,、um, I guess you would just say it's specialized.、Uh, it's specialized for just this. It's just to get the most out of this legato that you can get. And they're just getting started. I'm thinking they're just getting started. Yeah, this is really cool. Uh, let's see. So the key range, let's go. Let's go up the octave. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Tugwood. Sometimes I get stuck in a. Yeah, that's where the, that's where the range stops right here. That's really nice. And then we've got,、uh, you know, we've got some sustains. Let's do、um, sustains far away. So this kind of takes the legato out of the picture. Let's do that. Yes, Shane, thank you. Let's hear it.、Uh, let's go ahead and, and just turn the reverb off. And I'll just kind of still stay in this same mode. 
let me bump it. Um, now let's see, let's bump the... Uh, okay, let me just turn the effects off. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Now, let me go back to the legato and we'll do a legato dry. Uh, and that would be good. Let's just do the mid. Let's do the mid slow. I'm going to take reverb off and make sure we're just going to hear the dry sound. So let's check that out. Yeah, that's, that's dry. Yeah, let's... Very beautiful, very beautiful. And, uh, and, and like I said, I think they are just getting started. I just think they're getting started with this uh, very beautiful sound, and and they've just just given us some beautiful starting points. Let's do the sustains, sustains ambient, and you hear the reverb. Let's turn the reverb off so we can just hear what that. Yeah, and that re-bowing thing is kind of cool. I can reach down there. And just kind of trigger that. I mean, it, it really, if you like cello and stuff, I mean, if you like this, I mean, this is just a very, very wonderful opportunity. Someone mentioned about the contemporary cello. The contemporary cello is a little bit different. This came out before the intimate legato cello. This one takes a little different approach. It's got a lot more uh, articulations and things, but when you pull, pull the two together, uh, it's pretty magical. Let's just pull up a contemporary cello. Let's pull that up first. Kind of go through some of the uh, sounds in the contemporary cello. And you can see here, We've got like 17 different uh, different articulations. You've got, uh, let's go ahead and load up the expressive legato for the contemporary cello here. And you can hear it's a little bit different. Um, okay, so let me pull up the intimate cello and do the same thing. You can hear the difference. Now let's go back to the um, contemporary. Now the contemporary cello, it's got a little more, it's got a little more edge. It's got a little more edge on it. So. It's got a little bit more bite to it. So that's the expressive legato. Let's go to dark sustains and take a listen.
let's just go, let's just jump to intimate cello. Well, I like comparing the difference here. Oh, okay, so they've got snapshots with the, um, with the intimate um, legato. So let's do these, let's see if we got some sustains. Yeah, so let's go to um, the mid sustains here. So that's that. Let's uh, let's just jump into one more, a couple of the uh, contemporary. This is the Gypsy Pizzicato. So you've got pizzicatos and uh, different uh, articulations with this. They recorded these dry. Uh, they recorded these really dry. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> and one of the things that I really liked about the um, the contemporary soloist cello is the uh, circular. You're you're beautiful. <clears throat> Let's check that out. Let's um, let's go ahead and just bump up the uh, reverb a little bit. And then uh, let's just let's just do this. Let me just lay down. Let me just lay down something with the um, with the ch this cello, and then we'll play over with the. Um Let's go back. Um, let's go back and put the um, let's put the intimate cello on top, and just kind of see what happens with this. Let's go to um, let's go to ambient. Uh, oh, let's go to huge space, and this will put this. Um, okay, let's try this. Yeah, this is this is this is live.
uh, and you hear that you hear that um, that really beautiful. So it's got those slurs and different things about it, and then you uh, you can just you can just keep going with this with those yeah just with with the um, with the opportunities that you have. I mean, I just I love it. I love being able to get lost in these. Um, so let's see the somewhere where the rainbow I think started right around in here. Thank you.